Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about something super important, your health. Specifically, the early signs of colon cancer that you shouldn't ignore. Now, I know, this might not be the most fun combo, but trust me, it's necessary. Colon cancer is one of the most common cancers out there. But here's the kicker, it's early symptoms, they're sneaky. So, stick with me, and let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. This could literally save lives, maybe even yours. 1. Changes in your bowel habits Let's start with the basics. If you notice long-term changes in how your gut works, like constant diarrhea, bloating, or constipation, that's your body waving a big red flag. If it doesn't return to normal for a few days, that's a good reason to call your doctor. Sometimes people chalk it up to stress or diet. But if it's ongoing, get it checked out. Better safe than sorry, right? 2. Blood in the stool Okay, here's one that's hard to talk about, but it's important. Blood in your stool. Now, it could be bright red, which might mean bleeding closer to the rectum. Or it could look black and tarry. This could mean the bleeding's happening higher up in the colon. Don't rely on Google. If you see blood, go to a doctor. Hemorrhoids, maybe? Sure. But colon cancer? That's something you don't want to second guess. 3. Unexplained weight loss. Alright, I get it. Most of us wouldn't complain if we dropped a few pounds without trying. But if you're losing weight, and you don't know why, it's a red flag. Cologne cancer can interfere with your digestion or cause your body to burn energy faster than usual. Bottom line, if your pants are suddenly loose and you haven't been cutting carbs or hitting the gym, it's worth a call to your doctor. 4. Abdominal pain or cramping. We've all had stomach cramps. Maybe you ate that leftover pizza you shouldn't have. But if you're consistently feeling pain or discomfort in your abdomen, it could be something else. Sometimes, tumors can block or irritate your digestive system. If you feel like these cramps are sticking around way too long, pay attention. Trust your gut, literally. 5. Fatigue that won't go away. Feeling drained? We all get tired now and then, but colon cancer can cause constant fatigue. This happens because of slow blood loss. Sometimes it's so subtle you don't even notice. If you're always tired, no matter how much you rest, it's time to dig in and figure out why. Chronic fatigue isn't normal. When to see a doctor? Now here's the million dollar question. When should you actually go to the doctor? If any of these symptoms last for more than a couple of weeks, don't wait. And if they're getting worse, call someone today. Regular screenings like a colonoscopy can catch problems before they become serious. For most people, screening should start at age 45. But if you've got a family history or other risk factors, get checked even earlier. 3. Real Stories of Early Detection I've heard so many stories of people who caught colon cancer early, just by paying attention. One person noticed they were feeling unusually tired, went in for a check, and BAM! Doctors found precancerous polyps. Removing those saved their life. It's incredible how often early screening or catching symptoms makes all the difference. No chemo, no major surgery, just a quick procedure and they were back to living their best life. 5. Prevention is key. How can we lower our risk of colon cancer in the first place? Well, there are two big ones, diet and exercise. Here's the deal. 1. Eat more fiber. Fruits, veggies, whole grains, they keep things moving. Think of it like giving your digestive system a daily tune-up. Two. Limit red and processed meat. Bacon is delicious. Trust me, I get it. But cutting back a little can make a huge difference. 3. Get moving. You don't need to run a marathon. A 30-minute daily walk works wonders. Small choices every day can add up to a lifetime of better health. Final thoughts. 
All right, that's it for today, friends. It's not fun to think about cancer, but ignoring the signs of colon cancer isn't worth the risk. Take care of your body, listen to it, and don't hesitate to get screened. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and share it with someone who might need to see this. Let's keep these conversations going. It could save a life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.